Patients with traumatic acute subdural hematomas often require surgical evacuation with a craniotomy in which the bone flap is replaced or decompressive craniectomy in which the bone flap is not replaced. Although craniectomy may prevent intracranial hypertension, it is not known whether it is associated with improved outcomes over craniotomy. A new trial compares the two approaches and examines disability-related outcomes. In this multicenter randomized control trial, 462 adults with head injury that warranted evacuation of an acute subdural hematoma were randomly assigned to undergo craniotomy or decompressive craniectomy during the surgery. The primary outcome, an assessment of disability outcomes with the extended Glasgow Outcome Scale at 12 months, was not significantly different between the groups. A secondary outcome, additional cranial surgery within two weeks, occurred more frequently in the craniotomy group. In terms of safety, the craniectomy group had a higher incidence of wound complications, including surgical site infections. The authors conclude that among adults undergoing surgical evacuation of a traumatic acute subdural hematoma, there was no significant difference across disability-related outcomes between those who had a craniotomy and those who had decompressive craniectomy. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.